The San Diego-based National Conflict Resolution Center shares to help resolve conflicts. This Saturday is the organization's 31st annual Peacemaker Awards. Earlier, I spoke to NCRC's president, Stephen Dinkin, and one of the honorees, Iman Taha, about the event and the importance of civil discourse. What makes this year's honorees so special? Well, we really do have a, a special group of, of peacemakers, starting with uh, Imam Taha, uh, one of our local peacemakers. Uh, what we really see in Imam is that we're really facing a lot of challenges in the Islamic community, uh, what they're facing in terms of Islamophobia, and it cuts across all of uh, other religions and so forth. So Imam's work in terms of civility and politics and what he's trying to achieve is really something very special. What have you experienced and, and witnessed when it comes to Islamophobia? Do you find an increase? Uh, we have seen in the last few years uh, a, a rise in uh, Islamophobic rhetoric and, and actions targeting, unfortunately, the Muslim community. But it, it's not only about Islamophobia. I mean, we can talk about anti-Semitism. Uh, we can talk about uh, anti-black uh, sentiments, uh, racism um, uh, against refugee community, immigrants. So. I believe that Islamophobia is part of this uh, system, unfortunately, targeting a lot of portions of the American society. And, and I believe that uh, the faith leaders, and I'm a faith leader, can play a major role uh, uh, addressing these issues and bringing people together to start a uh, conversation based on uh, civility understanding and respect and of course the power of having that conversation but how do you begin to have that conversation when so many people are self-segregating themselves and so therefore not even sitting at the same table to have that conversation well that's been a, a focus of the national conflict resolution center for for many years we have developed a, a set of communication skills and mediation strategies to bring people around the table. And what we're trying to do is to instill the type of skills so that people can disagree uh, but still have the dialogue in a respectful way. How do you reach people who are just angry and kind of on the outskirts? I believe th the most important thing is to set the model for everyone. When people understand and hear and see uh, that there are uh, uh, conversation circles going on between people from different walks of life, then they will get inspired. So the work that we are trying to do is not easy. It's challenging, but there is no other option. If we want you know, to achieve something positive for our society and our nation, then we have to do this work. And of course, um, Saturday is about honoring deserving people such as Iman, but um, also it's a fundraiser. Can we talk about um, what the event will raise money for? So uh, this particular event, we're focused on our Avoiding the Pipeline, the Prison Initiative. And this uh, program works with the at-risk youth. It's, it's traditionally uh, youth of color who find themselves caught in the pipeline to prison. And we have created a series of levers to stop the flow of these youth into the prison system and into our jails. And we partnered with the San Diego Unified School District, with law enforcement, with our district attorney and our sheriff's office probation. So we're all working together in a coalition to stop the flow of these youth into the system. So the funds that we're going to raise at our dinner uh, will help to uh, support in a partnership, public-private partnership, working with all these partners to address this very important issue that's impacting uh, all of our, our youth, these key youth in our, our communities. Congratulations, and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Iman Taha was also a KPBS community hero last year. Once again, the National Conflict Resolution Center's 31st Annual Peacemaker Awards Dinner is Saturday, April 6th at 5.30. It's at the Hilton San Diego Bayfront, and for more information, you can go to NCRConline.com.